Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. We are coming to the end of Women's History Month, and our next guest is a woman who has definitely made history from being a star on the 80s female cast of Facts of Life to a fan favorite on Survivor to a stay-at-home mom to now being the star of her own show called Collector's Call, and it's back for a fourth season on MeTV this Sunday, Lisa Welchel, our guest, of course, Blair from Facts of Life. Good morning, Lisa. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah, excited to have you on. I'm curious, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on my ages here, but from the age of 15 to 24, you were growing up on network television. Is that the right window of time? Yes, it was, except even before that, I was on the new Mickey Mouse Club when I was 12 and 13, and so I've been doing this for a long time. Did you have the sense, even at that young age when you were on the show, that you were, in fact, empowering women? Because there wasn't a lot of shows on TV that was dominant with women stars that was a hit uh, in primetime television. You were really paving the way and empowering women. Did you realize that at a young age? I didn't realize that, but I will have to say that uh, Norman Lear, who created the show, turned 100 last year, and they threw a big birthday party for him. And it was a televised event, and they mentioned that he the reason he created the show is for his own daughters, wanting to give them some a show to relate to, and also really wanting to empower teenage girls to be able to, to really process the world and the reality of the world as it was and as it was becoming, not... not you know because it was there were some really hard topics that were that, that teenagers faced, and it, it, it deserved more. Then, you know, we loved Brady Bunch and Partridge Family, but always everything was always pretty sweet and happy, and everybody ended up in a group hug. And Norman Lear wanted to have a show that dealt with the realities of being a, a teenage woman and, and learning how to navigate, especially with the support of, of female friendships, which I think is, you know, it's a message we, a message we still need to hear. And Norman, what a uh, talent. I mean, the guy's had hit show after hit show, and the fact that he made it all the way to 100, and he still seems like he has youthful life uh, to live at 100 years old. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Our guest, Lisa Welchel, of course, the star of a new show. You locked down the first original series at MeTV. It's a big hit, and now we're going into the fourth season. You uh, you enjoying your time here on this show, Collector's Call? I, I enjoy it more every season. And part of it is because I really thought there's no way we could keep coming up with such great collections. And yet this season is the biggest and the best we've had so far. And I had the most fun that I've had so far. And, and uh, so, yeah, I, I could do this forever. What is the psychology you think of people that love to collect things? Because I need to know what's wrong with myself. I know you're a life coach, Lisa, so maybe you can help me understand my own own issues here. But uh, I collect toys from the '80s. You know, I have like a, a little He-Man and professional wrestlers and Karate Kids here at the studio. And some of my family members think it's a problem. I'm now 40 and collecting toys from the 80s. Uh, have you noticed something psychologically wrong with all these people you meet that are collecting things? Not only is there not anything psychologically wrong, I think there's something actually really right about collectors. And they get a bad rap. Many of them do be, are considered you know, like hoarders or obsessive compulsive. And that's not the case at all. It's people with passion and purpose. It's people that... Had, that want to just hold on to a memory from childhood or a relationship or a feeling from a simpler time. And, man, I think we could all do with a, a, something that helps us to do that. And do you collect anything personally, Lisa, at your house? Do you have a collection of anything? 
Uh, I don't, but I tell you what I have learned from filming this show is that I'm never going to do another um, show that I don't bring something home uh, from the set to collect because I could have my own collection and I don't know how much more work I'll be doing in, in television, hopefully a lot more, uh, but I'm definitely going to collect it because it does kind of bring you back to wonderful memories as you pass it. I do have a little kind of a, a little survivor shrine where I have some things from, from survivor and every time I pass it, you know, I, it brings me back to the island. You didn't take one thing from the set of Facts of Life, not one costume, not... You have nothing to show for the nine years that you were on that show. No, isn't that really tragic and sad? I, I, I'm just kicking myself. That's crazy. I figured one of those outfits, they were always uh, getting you guys dressed up, uh, maybe the school outfit. I know. Yeah, it'd probably be worth big bucks. Uh, speaking of uh, big bucks, I know part of the show is... You have expert appraisers that uh, analyze these collections, and then they put a price tag on it. What's one of the most expensive collections that you've laid your eyes on? Well, uh, the premiere episode this Sunday night is the most expensive collection, the $22 million, this guy's collection, and uh, the most vast and I think relatable to everybody. I I loved it so much that I put together a group of about 15 of my family and brought them back over the Christmas holidays to see the collection themselves because it, it, he's got props and, and costumes from Star Wars, Terminator, Alien, Jurassic Park, Batman, Back to the Future, Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, I mean, you name it. You, if you've seen a movie, he's got a prop or a costume from it. It's like meeting an inanimate object celebrity from a movie. It's really, it, it's incredible. If you want to check out the all-new fourth season of Collector's Call with the host, Lisa Welchel, our guest here, it returns this Sunday, April 2nd, on MeTV. Nowadays, you can just you know, type it into the Internet, speak into your phone, and you will find Lisa's new show. I would like to go back to the facts of life because there are a few things that I would like to clear up and really find out if they're facts or not. Uh, because I did some reading up on you, Lisa, and I... I think there's some okay. inter- interesting things out there on the internet. I just want to know if they're true or not. Uh, one is okay. that one of the episodes of Facts of Life, uh, the writers, they wanted Blair to lose her virginity, and you didn't like that. You, you fought back, and the script was rewritten, and another one of the girls ended up doing the devil's work. Is that a true story? Uh, that is true. It's just the difference is it was uh, originally going to be in the second season, and then um, they ended up writing that episode for Natalie's character in the ninth season. Was it something that you were not comfortable with? Because the piece I saw said that uh, you actually went to the writers and told them that you didn't want your image to be tarnished, or that's what, the way I took it. Is that not true? Yeah, no, it had nothing to do with my image. I mean, maybe not nothing to do. It wasn't a, about my image being tarnished. It was about the fact that I knew that girls, you know, little girls, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve were watching the show. They were the the biggest audience, and so you know, the decision for a, a young girl to lose her virginity is not something that can really be dealt with responsibly. And you know, in a in a half hour sitcom, and so I just felt that it was uh, it was irresponsible. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. we prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. And also, is it true, getting the facts of uh, Lisa's life here, you were a Mouseketeer on the Mickey Mouse Club. Is that true? That's true. And you were in a Dairy Queen commercial at one point in your life when you were a little girl. Wow, man, you have dug deep. That is, that's me. I think that was my very first television anything. We have a connection, Lisa, because my very first job was at Dairy Queen. I can definitely make a dilly bar, you know? I don't know if you know what a dilly oh, bar is, but... Of course I know what a dilly bar is. Definitely. I love <laughs> dilly bars. And how did they pluck you from Texas? You had grown up, I believe, right outside of Dallas or in Dallas. How did California find you in Texas? Well, when they did cast the Mickey Mouse Club, they did a nationwide talent search. And so that's how I, I got the job on the Mickey Mouse Club and then moved to California to film that and stayed there. All right. Getting some more uh, facts from Facts of Life. It was a staple in the 1980s when it comes to TV sitcoms. NBC's top rated program. If 
maybe you're listening and you're in our younger audience, you should go back and watch some of these episodes. A lot of great life lessons. And if you're a fan of, there's some big mega stars now that got their start on this show. There was the mullet wearing George Clooney who got his big break on Facts of Life. Is, is that true? That is true. Yeah, he was actually in the, the last few seasons of, of the Facts of Life. So we had a few years with him and it was a, a, quite a joy. Did you fall for his charm and handsome good looks back then? Could you see that he was going to be the mega star that he turned into be when you first met the mullet having George Clooney? You know, I'm going to have to say that we all thoroughly enjoyed. He's just a fun guy, but he kind of grew into his looks. He was a little bit gangly back then, but man, <laughs> it, he's like a fine wine, that's for sure. Yeah, he is. He And, and, and is it true? Another uh, fact of Facts of Life, hopefully we're getting the facts here from somebody who lived it. Uh, Jennifer Aniston, is it true that at one point they were considering her for the role of Blair, but you got it? Is that true? Not exactly. It's kind of reversed. When they were filming um, Friends, they filmed the pilot, and, and they had somebody else cast in the role of Rachel. And then they decided to change the actress, and they asked if I would come in and meet for the part of Rachel on Friends. And they sent me the script, and I loved the script. It was so funny. But I also knew it was not something that just with my own, you know, my own beliefs uh, about there was a there was just a lot of a little bit more promiscuity going on in friends set than I felt you know was something I wanted to be a part of and so I turned down the opportunity to meet for that part and then and then obviously Jennifer Aniston the the right person does the job and then another person that I did not realize until recently I didn't realize that this was the first time I saw her on television became a big star got her start on Facts of Life Helen Hunt was a, in an episode where. Uh, she was the bad girl, I guess. Uh, she was smoking pot, trying yeah, to get the other girls to smoke pot. Is that true? Yes, that's true. Helen Hunt was on the show. A couple of other Mayim Bialik. Um, you know, she was who was Big Bang Theory and Blossom. Blossom. And yeah, I remember Blossom. Jeopardy, and she was on the show. Juliette Lewis, um, just another fine actress. There, David Spade was a guest on the show. Uh, there was just a, you know Richard D. Anderson. I mean, it, there were a lot of celebrities that went on to be uh, very successful started or at least one of their starts was on facts of life so many great storylines i remember from the show but one of the relationships that i think was a big ratings getter for the network was blair and joe's relationship that would be nancy uh mckeon right uh, she was played the character of oh. joe and what what mm -hmm. was it about the exchange between the two of you that made america really fall in love with the both of you on TV, even though it seemed like you guys were arguing a lot, you kind of met in the middle at the end of the episode. And I think that's the case. You know, that we were op we were opposites. There was a lot of humor in the conflict, but you know, it, they didn't overdo it. But you knew that uh, you know Joe could say all kinds of things about Blair, but if any if anybody else said something about Blair, Joe would beat him up. And so you knew that at their heart, they loved each other. And how often do you keep up with uh, the cast? Uh, do, you, do you ever talk to any of the girls? Didn't they do like a reunion not maybe five, six years ago? Uh, we Yeah, we do stay in touch. We have a little text thread, and uh, whenever we're in, in each other's neck of the woods, we make it a point to see each other. And then we were all together for Norman Lear's 100th birthday party uh, this last summer. And I noticed on TV that you can go back and watch some of these uh, old episodes of Facts of Life. Is there an episode... In your mind, if I'm to go out there and search an episode to watch, one that is your favorite uh, of the nine, was it nine seasons, 201 episodes, and, and you were in every single one of them, correct? You didn't miss one? I missed the one where they wanted Blair, uh, where they had Natalie lose her virginity, just because they had asked me to uh, be a part of it and, and uh, take the position of abstinence. But that was just, it, I, I just knew that the, the episode would ultimately be about you know, you know, having sex as a teenager is a fact of life as long as, you know, as long as you, you know, you have safe sex. And, and again, it just felt like um, it was a comedy. It was a sitcom. It was it was too big and a, and, and a uh, subject that had much more gravitas than it could have been dealt with in a, in a responsible manner. So I wasn't in that episode, but everyone else I was. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? 
Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. So in the 200 episodes that you were in, because I believe there was 201, which is nice for you because 200 is a better number, if you ask me. You were, you, you were in 200 episodes. Is there one that stands out? No, I'm going to have to say that there was one. I love kind of broad humor, like Lucy and Ethel. And when Blair and Joe got to do some broad comedy, that was my favorite. We had one episode where uh, Blair was a, a commentator on a newscast for a college cable news show, and Joe handcuffed herself to Blair in, uh, in, until she agreed to read an editorial about the homeless situation in town. And we just, you know, ended up on the floor um, and lots of just crazy antics, and it was probably my, the most fun I had. Excited to watch the brand new show, Collector's Call. It is uh, coming out. Uh, it's uh, actually not a brand new show, but a brand new season coming up this Sunday. Make sure you check your local listings for it. It's on MeTV. It's called Collector's Call. And our guest, Lisa Welchel, the host of the show. I guess uh, I'll finally uh, leave you with this. Do you have a favorite episode of Collector's Call that stands out for you for this episode, uh, this upcoming season? Is there an, a must watch episode? Well, you know, I'm going to have to say the premiere episode this Sunday night with the costumes and, and the props from uh, all those movies that we've seen and loved, like Batman and Star Wars and Jurassic Park. That I, I would have to say I, I'm still fascinated by that collection. And I'm fascinated wow. by uh, your career. I mean, kicking butt on Survivor and uh, everything that you've done uh, throughout. Also, if you want to see some good Christmas movies uh, with our guest, Lisa, she's starring in, in, in some Christmas movies when the holidays come around. But you take the good, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life, right? Take the That's good, right. take the bad, That's something right. like that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and you are the original Queen Bee. I know Beyonce wants to say she's Queen Bee, but, I mean, you were Queen Bee way before Beyonce. So you have that too. I don't think there's any there's any comparison to the real Queen Bee of Beyonce. Um, but thank you. All right. Well, thanks for your time, Lisa. And we'll be watching uh, your show coming up uh, this weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. BTW. Void. we prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.